In this example, there is a scene with night lightings. But we want to improve the mood and atmosphere by adding volume to the spotlights hanging from the ceiling. To do that, you can simply select a spotlight and add the new volumetric light beam component via the components brother or via the context menu. The light beam is instantly visible in the scene view. Since the new component is attached to a spotlight, some properties are automatically binded from the light itself like the spot angle or its color. Here, we find that the beam is too long. You can change that by tweaking the fading distances. You can adjust the other properties to make it look like you wish like changing the beam thickness, its opacity. You can also tweak the rendering when the player looks the beam from the inside. This plugin automatically generates a cone mesh per beam and you can tweak the geometry itself. Here, we want the beam to fit with the model. To do that, you can simply adjust the start radius of the cone geometry. You can also tweak how detailed the tessellation is. In this example, we want to see the light bulb model for the beam. So you can disable the cap geometry on the cone to see it. You can see the difference better here. We are pretty happy with this result. Since we were modifying a prefab, we can simply apply the modifications to see the volumetric light beams appearing to all prefab instances. The result in play mode looks really great. Thank you for watching.